cinema Matinee I ain't got 750 to pay The tagline for this movie is New model, original parts Which is about as cheesy as you could imagine However, it's true. It is the true sequel to the first movies that finally is back to being a guy movie yeah, again. Yeah, and, I mean, and you watch like, you know, the lives of these street racers driving these, you know, these, these beautiful sweet cars and there's nothing but lowrider models all over you. I'm watching this, I'm going like, man, f this movie critic sh I'm, I'm moving out to LA and buying a hot rod. You will be dead in less than 24 yeah. hours trying to do this yeah. Jaws of life will be pulling my clothes out with a big smile. Yeah. Yeah. When they say original parts, that means we get most of the original cast, mainly Vin Diesel, who comes back as Dominic Toretto, who is pretty much a car thief, and uh, he steals apparently gas too from major <laughs> trucks. I mean, there is that point though. You really expect one of the guys, and I go, "We're not really in this for the money, are we?" Man? Yeah, you, you just you just love doing dangerous, <laughs> shit, don't you? Exactly. And, you know, we have Paul Walker return as Brian O'Connor, who is the FBI agent, or who's undercover. George, George, Anna, George Brewster, Brewster yeah. return, who's fine as hell, and uh, she's and, in Cyrus's top ten. Right much there. He's in everybody's top ten. Yeah, what are you talking I, about? I, you don't get the hog. You know what? <laughs> if if you got a dick, she's in your top ten. And then we have. Michelle Rodriguez for returning seconds. for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we ain't ruined anything by saying that she dies early on in the movie. And yeah. that's what makes Vin Diesel want to go after the crime ring that killed her. Now, at the same time, of course, we got to figure out a way to get Paul Walker to work with Vin Diesel again. So he's also going after the same drug cartel. You get a bunch of fast cars, fast women, and all this shit that we want to see from the original movie back again. This takes place five years after the first movie and now Paul Walker clearly has been promoted and it comes in between the last two movies so it's something of a prequel let's not forget that we have the FBI looking at all these people in these car rings but you can stop in the middle of the night and have a car race head to head on with opposite traffic and all the cops in LA are gone. If you really were determined, you could sit back and go, that's stupid, see, that doesn't make any sense. But surprisingly for these type of movies, there's not that many of those things here. The driving is f***ing astonishing. I mean, there's there's stuff I have never seen before in a GearHead movie. To ratchet up the film, it's really like they sat down and rewatched the first film and said, okay, how can we make the first film again, but make it more badass? Man, the dialogue's not so good and it's plot holes, but Damn, the action, it just blows you away. You're like, you know what? F I don't care about that. I'm not a movie critic right now. I am just loving this movie. Justin Lin is the director of this. He actually directed the Tokyo Drift movie in this series. I so. Now, oh, okay. it's like somebody told him, it's like, you could have done a much better job if you had Vin Diesel in the movie and Paul Walker and those other guys. And then they said, you know what? We got him back. Why don't you come back and do this again? And he did it right. It's all in the editing. I mean, in that scene where they're in the mine. I mean, God, that must have been hard to film and be able to tell what's going on. Cars are spinning around I mean, and exploding. <laughs> About as badass as this sh gets. This is a full price movie, and by all means, you know, let your girlfriend drive on the way home so you don't kill somebody. The acting is good, the dialogue is decent to bad, and the plot is just downright dumb. But the real stars here are the car scenes and all the crazy stuff that cars can do only in movies. The whole package doesn't make for a full price movie, but it is a badass matinee. If I had any major complaint about this uh, movie, you go again. no, listen to me, it's because. This movie makes you want to go out and do dangerous shit. The moment I left the, uh, the the parking lot, I said, I'm speed. If a cop comes after me, I'm going to stick my finger through it and say, fuck you and hit anybody now, that gets now, in my way. Hey, for all the dudes who are really dudes, I give this a full in price. Yeah, have you ever said to yourself, I love a good dude movie? Yeah. yeah. I, I give this a strong, solid matinee. I, really? I, it wasn't as solid as the first film. It wasn't as fresh as the first film. But it's really good. It's exactly the type of thing that you go to a matinee movie and walk out going great. I love their GPS systems that they get given that are so ridiculously like godlike advanced that I'm surprised they didn't have NASCAR commenters <laughs> built into them too. You hear the voice on the GPS is like, turn left, turn right. It, there is a woman like half dressed telling you that on, on your GPS. <laughs> oh, no, no, mine has that. The G my GPS costs more than my car. There are two models of that available right now. You can get the 
wife model, which is, come on, I said turn here. Or you can get the Jewish mother model, which is, you should have turned back there. All right, you can get the black model, which is, mother you stupid, I tell you to turn left. You don't know where the f*** you going, do you? You don't know nothing about driving a car, do you?